everyone, welcome in. This is Julie Max and the Main Stamper, and I'm here for your Thursday at three. This is our live card class, and this is a short, quick card class, but it's still, I pack in all the fun because we always do a fun fold, or at least we have been doing fun folds for quite a while. And I am scouring for easy fun folds because I try to do my Thursdays at three within a 20 minute or so time frame. So say hi and as you're uh, jumping on. I'd love to know who's hanging out with me today. It's a hot one and we're gonna do something a little more refreshing. So this week I've been playing with the So Refreshing bundle. And so you're gonna see that lovely little picture. We, today I'm putting in ice cubes. I've had lemons in there, I've had or oranges maybe, I can't remember, um, but we, we today we need the ice. It's hot here in Maine, it's like 90 degrees, that's not typical summertime weather. But anyway, like I said, this is a fun fold, this is another tent fold. So we're gonna be doing the hot dog cut, and then of course you can kind of see there's a cutaway here, we're gonna do the die cutting together. So you're gonna pull this up, and that's all nice, you know, like there's an inside piece that pulls up, that's pretty common, right? We do those on occasion, but check out the fun fold part. It opens even farther. So it's got this little fun fold in here. And did you catch that I put little glasses on the inside? So the beverage is on the outside and then the little glasses are on the inside. Now, of course, this can be done with any stamps, any colors, any designer paper. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, but I'm gonna show you how to make this card. You're gonna get the recipe. Uh, if you're on my newsletter, um, if you get my email newsletters, you've got the card recipe today. So you can print and save that. I see Kathy, Roxana, Jess, and Rhonda. Okay, we are good to go. Let's get over to my workspace, and we're gonna put this refreshing card together. I love this one. Okay, so once again, this is our little fun fold here. Opens like so, and then this just opens. It's just adorable, it's so easy. So, and at, um, at the end, I'm gonna show you a different a version of this. I have two versions of this, but we're gonna make the same one here today together. And um, of course, I'm gonna make it as short and sweet as possible. We will need our scoring tool and we're gonna do a little die cutting. So I did mention we're starting out with the hot dog cut of our card stock. So this is four and a quarter by 11. We're gonna score this in half at five and a half. So we're just taking a regular length of 11 inches and we're scoring it at five and a half. So there's step one, just like that. Of course, I already pre-cut this, so um, I just, cut my paper in half at the four and a quarter mark and you can make two cards you can this is great you can make two cards out of two um, one piece of cardstock um, one piece of inside cardstock that folds right so you can get two cards you can get uh, out of full sheets and then of course you just need a little designer series paper for the front this is the scraps for stamping on so depending on what you're making you can use whatever and then just an additional circle now i i love the stylish shapes. We're gonna be using the largest one. I've already die cut the next second one down. I die cut the lemon lime out of it, just so that we would have this little accent piece on here. Now you don't have to do that. You you could even keep it white and stamp instead of add die cut features, but um, you can get some nested items in there. And I'm not gonna send them out too far because I do need to use those. Okay, so back to our card. We have folded it in half, that is step one. So we're gonna put our designer series paper on, and this is from the Bright and Beautiful pack. It's that really fun, bold uh, birthday bash pack, right? We're gonna just put the adhesive on, I love the blue. I flip it over and look at another color. Hopefully my glue's holding out today. Adhesive only on the outside edges. See on the outside edges? Because we're gonna be die cutting the center. I might've actually gone over a little too far, but we're gonna make this work. So this is just gonna layer on here. This is a four inch by five and a quarter. Your first layering mat for your designer series paper to go on the front of this. So just like that. <clears throat> now we're going to bring in We'll just get this fold part out of the way before we do our die cutting. This is a piece of five and a quarter by eight, and we're gonna score it at four and six. So I'm just gonna slide this in at four and score, and then move it over to the six inch mark, which you can't see because my, 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 my work is too high. All right, four and six. So here's four and here's six. So I just moved it to four and six, and that's along the eight inch side. So this is five and a quarter because when we put it into our card, it's the same matte layer, just like that, that we would on the front. So this is all the matted part. Okay, so this part's done. I'm gonna set that aside. We'll just fold this really quickly. I'm going to, with my score lines to the right, I'm gonna to fold toward the middle. So I'm folding it in half, basically. 
on the first one. And this leaves us four inches. And then I'm gonna fold this back. It's like making the Z fold cards. I'm pretty sure you guys have all made Z fold cards. So it's just in half and then in half again. Basically, if you wanted to think about it and not worry about the measurements, you fold this in half, you fold one, the one flap back like that, and that's gonna be the folding mechanism. So we'll set that aside, we'll do our die cutting next. I gotta bring in my machine here, my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna be die cutting through a couple of layers. But the most important thing is we need to open up our card like this so we're going to open it up and that way this is the the back end of my card this is the front end we're going to die cut through the front and you're just going to decide how best it's going to look on there i'm going to bring in a little bit of tape to hold it so you're just going to um as my original card shows right you're going to kind of you're going to come down far enough you're going to side to side keep it evenly spaced and you know, if you want to um, leave some room here on the bottom, a sentiment could be added way down there. So we're gonna go ahead and die cut through. So we're die cutting through cardstock and the designer series paper at the same time. And I'm just gonna bring it backwards for two reasons. First of all, it gives an extra press so that it's getting through those two layers. And secondly, the my plates are really um, crinkly and if I leave this up without pushing it through the machine and getting all these grooves and things on the back of my paper it just looks a lot nicer so that's why I do it that way but you can just send it through the machine and it should die cut out everything with one pass and now I have to take off this tape which is a little sticky we're going to save our pieces that we're removing and I see that my tape kind of stuck to my project here a little bit today so I'm just going to gently assist this off of my designer paper thank you very much and then we're going to pop out this other piece so those are the two pieces so now you see a big old hole in the front of our card right which is exactly what we want now we are going to bring in our fun fold piece so this was the fun fold part about it these little sticky things are driving me wonky all right so the first thing we're going to do we're going to open this up this is going to fit on the inside and then it's going to fold open like this so i need to add adhesive to this four inch wide by five and a quarter inch panel basically that's what we got here so i'm just going to put my adhesive on here be a little generous because it's it's a fun fold people are going to be opening it and playing with it a little bit and then we're going to just keep this folded shut and we're going to put it into our card base evenly as possible just about so so you've got that nice even outlines there and then as you open it, it'll open it to the right. So that's gorgeous so far, right? Easy peasy. So when we close it, you can see this is the fold part right here. So this is the first flap of the fold and this is the back of our paper. So when we add in our yellow circles, so this is the cardstock that we die cut from the base. We're gonna be putting it right in this spot right here, but we only wanna add adhesive to the fold part the fun fold part so while this is closed you can add the adhesive just on this half of the circle and then we're going to just pop this back into place while it's closed and then we're just going to press the adhesive down here make sure that's going to stay and then just you know work your items make sure like you can open it and here's the beginnings of our card see how awesome that is so there's no glue here and there's no glue here so you don't want to glue it shut completely that would defeat the purpose of the fun fold. It would not be fun at all. Now we still have this extra little die cut of designer paper with some sticky stuff on it. And to put this on our card, if I bring in my original again and show you, it goes right on the inside and I lined it up perfectly and there's magic in lining it up perfectly. Basically, you're going to open your card up. So this is as full as it's gonna open right now. We've got the top flap up, we've got this over here. We're gonna put this back down and this is going to fit right back here where we started from. Now the fun part is if you have a pattern that you can orient and find the same um, exact, whichever way it goes, that's the fun part, right? So, okay, putting this back down. Now this time I'm gonna put the glue, actually it wouldn't really matter if you put the glue on this circle or in this circle because it's all going to be one and the same so now I have to figure out which way this went back in I think it was just like this and I love that so this this looks like little circles with like little lines so if I turn it a little bit 
it looks like it's still it looks like it's still a continuous piece of designer series paper that's where I'm going with that right so this is the inside so now when we open it up we have this on the inside and when this comes over because we are using this as a template all of this works so perfectly together now I like to I like to do layers so I'm gonna bring in this lemon lime circle that I die cut previously and I'm just adding this on here because I think it's just more fun right we got a lot of lemon and lime going on here so there's our lemon limes just like that here's our fun fold this is the bones of your card, right? So whatever designer paper and colors that you're using, this is the beginnings of your fun, fun fold. Now, of course, we've been playing with the So Refreshing Bundle this week. So I continue to play with it. I'm just gonna bring in some scraps and show you how I did my stamping here. And then we're gonna finish putting this one together. So again, scrap papers. I'm using gray granite this time for the picture. And I actually really like the gray granite. I tried Pool Party, but I think the gray granite is just it's perfect it's it's like it's not black so it's not super harsh oh i need gray granite for a couple of cups too let me do my outline here of my two cups because we're doing two cups for the inside so there is my stamping for that of course there's dyes for all of these good things right all right we are also going to be doing oh and daffodil we're going to be doing a little lemon let me get my little we're calling this a lemon so I'm just going to pop that out there and just show you. That is just the cutest little wedge. I love that one too. All right, now we're going to fill in with lemon lolly. This is, this is like lemonade colored lemonade, right? So um, if you missed my class on Monday, I was talking about how to use the, this particular stamp set. This is two-step stamping. So we're just kind of taking our fill-in stamps. So again, I've got the lemon lolly for each of the glasses. So we've got our, our uh, stamping done started there but we're not done we're gonna bring in back in the daffodil because these cute these ice cubes are adorable now there's two of them here so this is the fun part you want to pick something just a little bit darker than what you've got for juice in your cup here right and just add in some ice and it's just so cute you can get a couple of ice cubes into the glass just easily I mean like super you can go crazy I, I try to not go too crazy but there it is that is what the pitcher and the inside drinks look like here's our little lemon for the front here and I did die cut out I, I die cut out everything so we can just continue to assemble here so I've got my little pitcher I've got my two little glasses so cute I have my little lemon wedge and then I, I did die cut out so this is a separate die there are sometimes I guess they're called bonus dies new to me right this doesn't coordinate with a stamp, but it, it gives you something, you know, fun to, to die cut. So I did this in the lemon lime, lemon lime, yes. I did this in lemon lime, but it disappears a little bit on my lemon lime circle. So I brought in a sponge dauber and some lemon lime ink, and I just daubed the ink on here to darken it down. And once it's a lot darker, it just shows up so much better when we put all this together. So it just, it's a much darker green on that green. So this was tone on tone paper, tone on tone cardstock before. Now it has just a little bit something extra to help it stand out a little bit. All right, so let us do the final assembly and then you can see how I added all of these things onto my cards. Now I did use dimensionals because I wanted it to be popping fun. So let me see if I can find, you know what, I'm down to some, some little wedges today. So we're just gonna chop a few of these up real quick and pop these on our card pieces here, our little elements. So I'm gonna use three for the picture. And my little picture is gonna go right in the center. So again, think of all the themes you could do with this. You could do flowers, you could do leaves, uh, whatever's gonna fit in your circle. So whatever circle size you're using, you just wanna make sure that you have, um, it, that it clears. It can't be bigger than the circle because then it would get hung up when you opened your card. So just keep that in mind. I'm actually bringing in, I haven't used these in forever. These are the little mini dimensionals. And I found that using a couple of these on the leaves was super helpful. And the glasses too. So I haven't used these in quite a while and I forgot how, how, harder, how much harder it is to get the little backings off of these. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of glue on the one little leaf that's gonna hit my, um, my picture a little bit more than the other so there's glue here there's two dimensionals here so it kind of just gives it that continuity of dimension we're going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back of our lime 
and just pop this on here. So we've got some nice dimension on the outside. Now we're going to come into the inside and we're going to add in our little cups. So as mentioned previously, you could definitely get a couple of sentiments in here, depending on what you want to use this card for. I'm just going to scrape up some of that glue because that's really bothering me. All right, back to the minis. Where's my minis? So the minis work really well here on the glasses. I'm going to use two on each glass. And it's nice that you can actually add the dimension in here because this piece right here um, doesn't have to sit super flat. So you can put dimension on the inside. Now, a lot of times it's hard to add dimension on the inside of the card without making it super bumpy or very obvious that there's something inside besides a wad of cash or some you know gift cards or something like that right so and i like to clink my glasses a little bit here like they're doing the cheers thing right so these are are bumped up and because this fold is a little bit thicker uh, you don't even notice really that there's something that has dimension behind it so there it is that's our fun fold now as mentioned i made two just exactly the same but i also did kind of an opposite one so again this is paper from the um, bright and beautiful designer series paper because I loved this yellow striping but for this one I made a limeade card right so I've got a lime I've got I used um, granny apple green for the ice cubes and the lime and I, I did deepen down the lemon lolly for the little leaf there so same concept just a different color and it just the look they're so cute right so these are the two I think I like the lemon card better the one that I just made with you I think I like the lemon better than the lime but they are super bright fun colors bright fun cards and these colors they just go together it's like they're twins but not well I don't know I guess you know twins that look like twins but they're not quite twins hi Michelle I know keep cool my AC is a crankin hi Lori perfect <laughs> the yellow stripe is kind of cute, right? Oh, Jesse like the lime too. That's so fun. Lori likes the lemon. It's, um, I'm pr probably going to put up a little poll over on Positive Paper Crafters to see which one you like better. This was a really fun fold for me. I love quick, simple fun folds. And um, so I keep looking for them. I'm going to keep bringing them to you forever I can, f for however long I can find some fun folds. These are not my original fun fold recipes i'm finding them on pinterest but i am using my current paper colors um, stamps whatever so they are totally so if you saw this on pinterest it would be a totally different card from what someone else did maybe years ago because some of these fun folds are, are going back a few years too so thanks for hanging out with the lemons and limes and the refreshings hopefully you guys are staying cool getting some good drinks in as well so that was our thursday at three i had so much fun with this one if you are watching this and you're not on my email newsletter and you want to sign up i can get you the link you can go to my blog and you can find the sign up there as well uh, every Thursday I will send out a newsletter a lot of stamping up news in it but there is a card recipe uh, that you can print just like this right so it's a full sheet it's got pictures it's got dimensions it's got directions it usually has even like the little picture down here like the details the detail pictures so you can use this recipe for whatever you want so that's it for me. Um, hope you guys are enjoying all of the sales that are going on today with Stampin' Up. Make sure you're checking them out. If you have any questions, let me know. I will be back on Monday with your next card class. Everyone have a great rest of your day. Stay inspired, create something beautiful, and share the love. Bye, everybody.